Hello and welcome to Contact Sport. I'm Paul Kennedy. Coming up on the program, we'll look at the new A-League season, including that match between the Central Coast and Melbourne Heart. Again, another free header, and the Mariners have the opening goal of the new season. It's Alex Wilkinson, would you believe? And for the fourth season in a row, the first goal of the new A-League season goes to the Central Coast Mariners. More on that match in just a little while, but first a feature story on the shooting star of Australian sport. Teenager Liz Cambridge has already made her mark on women's basketball. The Bulleen Boomers centre plays for the Opals and she's already been compared to her idol, Lauren Jackson. The pair will be a key part of Australia's World Championship defence in the Czech Republic next month. Amy Bainbridge caught up with Cambridge at her home in outer suburban Melbourne. It's pretty amazing where a sport can take you. I'm still 18 and a, peop- a lot of people forget that. I just started a new primary school and mum thought it would be a good idea for me to make friends. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. I hated it. I absolutely hated playing basketball because I was such a little chubby, lazy kid. But yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was a good idea by mum, I guess. My first coach, um, um, yeah, he put a lot of, Leanne Gage put a lot of effort into me, I guess. <laughs> Thinking about how bad it was back then. So. That's me. <laughs> how chubby. When I leave school, I'd like to be remembered by my tallness. When I get older, I would like to be a vet. So at what point did you think, okay, this is fun and or maybe this could be become a career option? When I started playing at Dandenong, I was probably under 14s and just playing with the best group of girls and I'm still friends with, really good friends with most of those girls. I moved up to Canberra to the AAS, I think I was 16, just turned 16 and um. It was hard being away from home that early, like you had to mature straight away. It was good, it was really good, but just, it was a little bit scary looking back now. Lauren Jackson, of course, is Australia's most famous basketballer because of her successful international career. What, what, how do you look to her at the moment? I mean, she's quite a bit older than you, she's got a few years on you. Yeah, she's done it all. Olympics, world champs, WNBA, Europe, that's, that's how good I want to be, as good as her. And... She just like, has so much pride in herself, the way she carries herself, and she's pretty much amazing. How would you feel if people compared you to her? Um, I'm, it's a good honour, but I'm nothing like her. We're different players, we're different people. Yes, we're completely different. This is from the under-19s Gems. We went to the World Championships last year and we came about was it fifth because we lost one game. And we lost that game by one point to Canada because we took the game too easy. And yeah, this is just a reminder to never take a game too easy and always have pride for your country. It's tough in Australia because over here it's all about the cricket and the AFL and rugby. And, but overseas it's a lot better. But I just wish it could get a lot better here in Australia. That's why we lose so many of our players to Europe and the WNBA because there's really not enough for us here. How do you describe your... Um temperament on the court. You say you're pretty passionate. What do you like on game time? Um, I think I've got a really bad white line fever. Like, I'll step on the court and just become an animal. What I love about the game is the big games. I'm the, I'm kind of a big game girl. I get all fired up and just winning, knowing that you've won and it's just, and then when the whole cheer, the crowd is cheering and you just get tingles, it's, it's weird. When we lost a grand final last year, that was the worst feeling in the whole world. Like I'm kind of like nearly crying thinking about it now, but just that's a feeling I never want to feel again and just winning, winning all the time. <laughs> I 
I did feel a lot of pressure at the start of the season from just the media putting pressure on, pressure on me. But now I've just learnt that just no, don't listen to the media. It's all about me and how I do it. What, what is it that you need to block out, do you think? Just pressure.